we can learn many things about addressing global problems from natural systems. For example, they all represent the balance we have to achieve between um, exploration and exploitation. I do that in my investments by investing in mutual funds, spreading the risks. We all do that to some extent. Plants do that by spreading their seeds. Spreading seeds is a risky business. Many of them are going to end up on basketball courts on highways, but occasionally they're going to find some new opportunity. When I went to graduate school, I went to graduate school in mathematics, but I was interested from the beginning in applying mathematics to address problems in order to make the world a better place. And the problems that I focused on very early on were ecological and environmental. This was the time of Rachel Carson. This was the time of, of Earth Day. And so it was quite natural to address those problems. And to be able to bring my unique set of tools to it, I thought was a great opportunity. Most people who would have that mathematical skill would live in a world of symbols and numbers uh, and not think very much beyond that, but Simon runs that entire spectrum. Simon has studied things such as the origin of biodiversity itself, but he's also contributed to very practical things such as how to control acid rain and how to manage fisheries in a sustainable way, both in the Northeast and the Pacific Northwest. Biodiversity is crucial to the sustainability of our lives and the, the way we're leading them. And uh, my work is directed towards trying to clarify those linkages and what we might do to, to preserve them. Sustainability matters because I care about my children, I care about my grandchildren, and I want to maintain uh, the kind of world that's at least as good as what we have today. Simon has both made a huge impact on the field of ecology, and at the same time, he has had you know, a huge number of students uh, that are out there making the world better and understanding it better. Simon has been an incredible mentor and he's inspired literally legions of students and what's so exciting about this is that these students are now leaders in many fields in the ecological world of course but also in economics, in epidemiology, in sociology and in animal behavior. The Tyler Prize is the grandparent of all environmental prizes and it represents one of the highest degrees of recognition in the field. It represents an endorsement of victory for the sorts of issues that I've devoted so much effort to provided me with, with the hope that uh, we'll continue to make progress in addressing these problems. <music>